children hope you all are safe and at home today we are going to read a chapter fiber to fabric to continue with it last class we had read about how do we get wool fiber from sheep today we are going to read how do we get silk from silk worm you all know we get silk from silk worm so first we'll read how do we get silk from silk worm and the life cycle of silk worm this is male butterfly this is female butterfly they lay eggs female butterfly lay eggs on the mulberry leaves these eggs hatch into silk worms eat the mulberry leaves and grow and they form a cocoon outside themselves this cocoon is helpful in giving us silk now we'll read how do we get silk first we have to read it theoretically how do we get silk from silk worm the female silk moth lays eggs from which hatch larvae which are called caterpillars or silk worms they grow in size and when the caterpillar is ready to enter the next stage of its life history called pupa after pupa formation the caterpillar secretes fiber made of protein which hardens on exposure to air and becomes silk fiber this caterpillar soon covers itself with silk fibers and turns to pupa and the covering is called cocoon so the outside covering of the silk worm in that stage is called cocoon the silk yarn is obtained from the cocoon of the silk moth the most common silk moth is the mulberry silk so other varieties of silk are munga silk kosa silk tasar silk etc sambalpuri silk there are so many varieties of silk and how do we get these variety of silk we get this variety of silk it depends on the type of leaves the silk moth eats the variety changes according to the type of the leaves they are produced by different kinds of moth now to get more about silk origination and processing in short that is what we have to read now is how do we got silk how it was discovered by whom it was discovered so silk was discovered by chinese it's a story that a chinese princess was sitting in the tree and having her morning tea suddenly something dropped into her tea when she took out the thing it was fiber like thread like shiny and that was silk that is how the silk was discovered silk is an animal fiber which is soft and lustrous lustrous means shiny the history of silk is about 6000 years old it was discovered by a chinese the chinese were the first to learn how to obtain silk fiber from silk worms the whole process of obtaining silk fiber from silk moth is known as sericulture this is very important children what is sericulture or define ser sericulture that the process through which we get silk from silk moth is called sericulture in a silk farm female silk moths are kept in separate linen bags where they lay 200 to 500 eggs in the bag so many eggs at a time because we need so many cocoons for producing silk the eggs chosen for producing silk are kept in perforated cardboard boxes what do you mean by perforated cardboard boxes perforated means having holes or bamboo trays placed in incubators incubator is a machine which keep, gives warmth to keep them warm a tiny silk worm is about 1/4 of an inch long is hatched from each egg they are placed on bamboo trays covered with straw mats on which selected mulberry leaves are laid that means they are made comfortable by putting mulberry leaves in cardboard boxes or bamboo trays where they grow eat this mulberry leaves and they grow the process is called rearing of silk worm we have gone through this word rearing means upkeeping keeping them safe giving them food so this is how silk worms are reared It is estimated that each silk worm eats about 30000 times its initial weight. So whatever is the initial weight of the silk worm, about 30000 times it eats and grows. During this stage, the silk worm molts four times. Molts means it shed its skin. So at least four times it sheds its skin. Fine gummy filaments. Gummy means sticky. Exits from two opening under the worm's mouth. and what does it come out from the worm's mouth it comes out fiber like substance the filaments are hardened and exposed to air the worm covers itself with these filaments and when the cocoon is complete in about 3 days it sleeps for 15 to 20 days the cocoons later on what happens when they form the cocoon these cocoon is taken 
and then that is used to make silk how cocoons are uh, used to make silk the cocoons are boiled in hot water or fumigated fumigated means given gases to kill the larvae within the silk fibers are then separated out this process is called reeling of silk the process of getting silk fibers from the cocoons by fumigating or by putting it in boiling water is called reeling of silk silk fibers are then spun into silk threads which are used to weave into fabrics there are so many varieties of silk process is same for getting the silk but the silk moth eating the leaves are different so we get a lots of varieties of silk thank you children if you have understood okay if you have not understood if you are having any doubt please clear it through inbox thank you children